Yes, hello, welcome to this video. Uh, this is of course originally in Swedish and uh, this is just a remake for the voiceover to bring the same message and information to you English non-Swedish speakers and listeners. So what we've done here is we took out the Terran 18 and the 16 uh, for a comparison, uh, not very serious, it's just uh, just to get a feel for the size and the, the, some, of the, some of the ways they are different and similarities as well. So we started with the, with the size of the boats, so um, obviously 18 foot and 16 foot, so it's a longer boat and a, and a shorter boat putting stuff into the boat uh, just to make some comparison here we have this green bag fits just nicely and then in the smaller boat you have to push a bit so it is we measure this uh, 20 centimeters this is in the front of the rear hatch and measuring the same point in the 16 so it's 18 the two two centimeters 20 millimeters higher generally in the back in the front there wasn't much of a difference uh, this is the front hatch so they're basically the same and um, so the the volume uh, in the front uh, is is uh, similar except for the length and of course so the, the packing volume is is larger also in front so the the both boats are quite voluminous, so you, you won't have any problems fitting your stuff in there. Uh, so the length difference is actually, as far as we could tell, it is only from the last touch, so from the front touch to the front of the boat, and from the rear hatch to the rear of the boat. So the middle part of the kayaks are actually very similar. So it's uh, yeah, the shorter boat, which is the the it's a made shorter or out of the longer boat it's uh, taken away from the ends of the boat the height of the sit the the cockpit is also a bit different about 15 millimeters something like that and you can really feel that when you sit in the boat so the the 16 is a snugger fit At the rear of the cockpits it's uh, not that much of a difference maybe five millimeters something like that and um, you can really feel that as well and um, it's easier to lean back in the, in the smaller boat we didn't have a nice way to measure the width of the boats but we used this piece of wood and uh, we're surprised to, s to see that the 16 actually is a little bit wider not mu by much but maybe five six seven millimeters wider we thought it would be it wouldn't be but uh, it is a bit wider and even the the flat section at the bottom of the boat is a bit wider in the 16 so um, this was a bit surprising both boats are very very uh, comfortable and, uh, and it's um, but you can feel the difference it's the lower the the, the, it, the 16 is the lower boat it's uh, especially if your upper body is not that uh, tall you're not too tall in the upper body you can really feel it and Stefan here you can see the difference when he sits in the 16 now and then he switches to the 18 and it's uh, it also looks a bit bigger as it's white but it is a big boat uh, and uh, the difference is is obvious when you switch back and forth like this so inside my super big feet, uh, actually only the my boots are very big, too big for me. And uh, so in the 18 it was okay, but uh, with this size 47, with the 16 it's uh, it's too not big enough. And then the the length difference is 20 centimeters uh, in the front, and well just. We put the blade there to to kind of illustrate this is the this the difference in the wind fetch from the side which is of course is a bit concerning uh, if you have a side wind so both both kayaks, kayaks are really nice to maneuver even without the rudder and the stability is uh, is okay it's really nice uh, and very predictable and uh, very similar between the boats and um, 
I would say the 18 is a bit more stable, uh, but, but they are, are very similar. So it's a, it's a bit roomier when you sit in it, and that that's it's a bit it is not that easy to feel the difference. Yeah, and rolling and and, and supporting is easy. You can both move in the boat, and you have a very nice connection with the, with the boat. Both boats are easy to turn uh, without the rudder and you can really play around and it's very predictable and uh, comfortable, you feel secure. It's also easy to put your paddle in a good spot for forward propulsion. So it's, uh, Ergonomically very nice. Yeah, and of course rolling is no problem, is it really very easy? So in all very very nice nice handling and uh, uh, very comfortable for for extended periods. So now we want to try a, a little speed comparison, super unscientific of course, just, um, just to paddle and just to bring the speed up, just to compare. And we are very, very well matched. Me and Stefan, we are, uh, normally we can, we can train together and we are the same, we can paddle the same speed. So now I, I just want to demonstrate how could, I could pull, pull away from Stefan in the 18, <laughs> and I couldn't. So. Uh, I was really pushing. Uh, we did this several times, and now I do it again. And I just push, push, push. Now I want to go f faster than him, and he could just stay there. He had no problems with that. So of course I have the wing, the wing blade, and Stefan has the flat blade. And I thought, well, maybe we just switch boats, and uh, maybe one of us has the better day. So now Stefan has the. 18 I have the 16 and Stefan is pushing 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 I think he's on max here and I have no problem keeping up with him uh, you see I can even catch him and then the camera falls in the water and uh, now we switch blades so now Stefan has the wing I have the flat blades but of course this is not what it's about the 16 is still as fast as the 18 so if you want the 18 to be faster, then I think you need more power uh, than any of us has. So it's uh, it is they are similar in speed, and uh, the 18 is for a normal paddler it's not faster. They're very very nice build these boats, very very nice. So uh, attention to detail is is superb, the quality is superb. We almost never never have any problems with these boats and we were using them hard so really i can really recommend you to try them and uh, yeah this was just to show um very in a very simple way some of the differences and similarities so uh, I, th I find for i recommend the 16 to most people if you don't want to have lots and lots and lots of gear i have paddled uh, week-long paddles and as I can choose the boat uh, I then then I choose the 18 because I usually bring lots of equipment for filming and uh, photography as well but um, uh, if I would have normal uh, camping gear I would probably use the 16 okay thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, this short uh, film and um, if you want to try these boats, of course, uh, we have them at Escape Outdoors. And um, if you can find them somewhere else, I can recommend you to try them. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye now. 16 is a little bit than 18. It's not a big difference, but it's good to know. So if you want to try paddle in one of these kayaks, come to us on Escape. So set up you for a fine prove paddle day. Och så kan du själv avgöra vilken båt som är. Eller också ta bara mina råd och slå till mig en gång.